You can imagine we've gotten some questions about what happened with Chase Elliott being a, he's our most popular driver. Can you give us specifics of why Chase was penalized for what he did, Elliott? Well, obviously, he shortcutted the course. Now, we're in the season of NCAA basketball. So, and, and I'll use fouls as an example. I know some of our fans may not like this analogy, but it's it really is. 99% of the time, the defender is not trying to foul the shooter. He's not trying to do that. He's trying to block the shot. But he gets called for a foul. I, I would say in our situation this past weekend, the drivers are not trying to commit a foul. But the foul was committed, so from an officiating standpoint, you have to call that. And that's why... Um, the nine was called. I mean, they, they kept coming up that he had wheel hopped, he had, you know, got loose, whatever that may be. And that's that's fair. I, I do believe that. But on the flip side, you still have to make the call or every driver, every team is going to be calling up and say, look, he got loose, he wheel hopped, you know, so forth, so on, which really puts us back into the first part of the conversation of us as a sanctioning body taking a much deeper dive into first the facility, what can we do to help with um, shortcutting the course, and then from the officiating side, uh, we don't want to over-officiate. That, that's not what we want to do. Again, we don't need you know, 20, 30 penalties in, in a race. We don't need that. So um, all of those things will be taken in consideration. I, again, I feel like the calls that were made on Saturday and Sunday were the correct calls based on the – information we've given the teams based on the facility and how we need to officiate it. That doesn't mean that we're not going back today and, and working extremely hard in all the areas uh, to not that not be a focal point going forward. 